Welcome back, everyone. Today, I'm going to install org present mode. It's a way for you to give uh, sort of like slide presentations from org mode. And you know, one of the only things you really can't do from org mode is uh, take a hot bath uh, or have it bring you a cold beer or something like that. But you know, you never know. Um, there's amazing things you can do with AI these days. And as you can see here, org present mode uh, as the description says, this is meant to be an extremely minimalist presentation tool for Emacs org mode. Simply lay out your presentation with each slide under a top level header. And if you watch my videos, you know what a top level header is. Start the minor mode with org present and page through each slide with left right keys. Simple. And of course, all of my viewers are familiar with org mode. I think all my viewers are incredibly savvy with all this stuff. Uh, and the philosophy here says most of the time I'm giving a talk, it is a work in progress and I want to be able to edit as I go along. Also to split my frame and work on code examples with my slides still visible. Uh, yes, um, this is something you can do with org babble. You can actually have code snippets in your org document and uh, split them off into another frame and work on them as if they were just individual files with with code in them and have you'll have all the the normal abilities that you would have when you're doing normal code editing it's pretty cool so um, that might be something we'll look at in another video uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get this installed here it looks like it's in the non gnu alpa uh, package directory so uh, i've got that all ready here so let's actually just install it and see what happens oh why don't i turn on my keys okay so meta x let's do package refresh contents to uh update the cache okay package refresh done now let's uh let's meta x and package install org present there it is package org present installed all right so now i believe everything else is just configuration um so that's it for the video folks well, let's actually uh, jump in and see what we can do here. Okay, I'm going to go into the temp directory like I like to do. Create a file called uh, presentation.org. I think we can turn off screen key. All right, so let's give this a title. Um, my great presentation. Installation, configuration. So now I've got two top level headers here. I should just be able to turn on org present. So let's see, let's go to the top just in case. Org present. Oh, getting some, some errors here. I'm just gonna go ahead and restart Emacs, why not? presentation.org let's do org present and here we are okay so it starts on the main title my great presentation and i should be able to do the right arrow key okay, and now i'm on installation and uh, as it says there you can actually you can actually keep editing the file so i can kind of do that and then i go right so of course your editing is going to be uh, limited because when I do left and right, it goes forward and backward. So, you know, typically when I'm editing, I'm using the the key commands anyway. Uh, but if you use arrow keys for, for editing, you know, obviously you're, you're going to be limited. So you can just turn off or present, I'm assuming. Uh, can you? Let's see. Org present. Uh, okay, how do you quit the presentation? Let's see. Uh, here it is. Control C, Control Q to quit, which will bring you back to regular org mode. So Control C, Control Q, and here we are. We're back. So uh, yeah, you can edit in the org present when the buffer has um, taken over. But um, you know, let's actually do what he talked about. Let's break off some code into another window. Okay, so let's. Um, Let's do a source block here and let's do some some elisp the best example uh, two plus two 
which uh, contrary to popular opinion is still four and we can prove it we can actually evaluate this and see there it is the result is four all right so let's uh Let's do control C and a single quote, and you see it, it broke it off into another frame. So you can actually do some, some actual ELISP editing uh, right here from inside your org mode file, but it looks like it's just in its own file. And then control C single quote again closes that. So let's actually do that from the org present window. Let's turn on or present. I think we can turn off screen key again. Let's org present. And there you go. Okay, so interestingly, it it made the document more pretty. It, it took away the not only the the asterisk, but also it took away the um, the structured uh, the structured block, the the source block. That makes it look a little nicer. So let's say now you're giving a presentation and you wanted to actually edit this code block. So I wonder if I do control C single quote. Yes, it does. So you can actually be giving your presentation and uh, come off to the side here and do some, you know, some Emacs Lisp coding live demo. Uh, I'm not sure why my, I'm not sure why it does that in my, my Emacs Lisp editing mode, when I do a, a, um, a return, it jumps it like several tabs ahead. It must be a setting or something I've got wrong in there. Um, but anyway, so now when I do Control X E, you see you can evaluate, you can do all the things you do in your, your regular uh, Elisp editing mode, but you're doing it from inside your org mode file and also right inside your presentation. And um, so of course, org babble works for um, all kinds of languages, not just the Emacs Lisp. So if you're doing JavaScript, you know, you could just like put that in there or, uh, you know, PHP, HTML, uh, you know, you can kind of do whatever you want. So if we actually pop this off into, uh, so now you see it put us into the, whatever default HTML mode I have in here. Uh, so you can actually do your your HTML. So I think you get the, the picture there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. So basically, I really like this. I think this is a uh, this is pretty awesome. I could definitely see myself using this for for videos in the future. And you can see here, there's lots of different ways to configure it. Um, yeah, and you can watch the the System Crafters video. Uh, he goes into uh, much more depth about configuring it. And uh, so that is something that I'll probably check out as well. Uh, so there you go, org present. I like it and uh, might keep playing around with it. Uh, but I think I'll leave the video there. Um, the installation was very quick and painless, as you saw. And um, there's more configurations to do. So I will jump out of here and leave the video right there. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to give a little plug to my, my Substack, uh, where I've... Um, I've changed it around a little bit. I'm going to be publishing more uh, creative writing there because you get enough of my opinion, you know, on my videos here, I think, which is just mostly Emacs stuff, you know. I don't really have any other opinions about anything. Uh, so if you want to check that out, um, there'll be a link in the description to, uh, to my Substack. And uh, I will catch you all next time.